This beautiful Star Wars Shore Trooper Lego mock is absolutely stunning. It's super accurate to the source material and it is very well made as well. So let's take a closer look at this incredible build, shall we? So this is SH Project and it's built by Mirko Sopelsa, otherwise known as Starbricks. Yeah, wow, look at this beauty. Let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons now with how a Shore Trooper looks in the movies compared to this model. Now, sure, there are many different types of Shore Troopers, but uh, the squad leaders, they were identified with a sand blue stripe that went along the very top of their breastplate and onto the top of their shoulder guards. And we can see that that's present on this mark, and they did a stunning job of capturing the accuracy of that. The attention to detail here is insane, you know, from the inclusion of these minor bits of dark tan so that the armor looks weathered and dirty, to this yellow highlight on the armor here, which is the same on the source material, and even the choice to add in little speckles of reddish brown on these dark brown upper legs so that it looks dirty and worn. And once again, when we compare it to the source material, it does that too. All these little accuracies like this, it really does make this figure come to life. Another brilliant accuracy. So the squad leaders were known to have karmas attached onto their belt, which again, we can see on this build using some cloth pieces that most likely came from some of the Star Wars Ultra Build sets or different Hero Factory sets. And it does look pretty stylish here, doesn't it? The back also gets a lot of love. You know, we can see this backpack area here and gosh, that looks cool. There's some more dirt and grime here with some reddish brown and dark tan touches. And just about every part of the back looks pretty accurate and realistic. It's a great idea too to use one of these gear pieces in tan to cap off and pull off just the right look for that area here. Something else that's cool. I love how they added a tire on the neck. It's a great way to fill in the gap that rests between the helmet and the body, but hey, when we take a look at that source material once again, we can see that this area does have a pretty similar texture and pattern. So what a great way to replicate that. So far we've seen cloth, we've seen rubber pieces, and then we've seen your typical Lego bricks. It's nice to know that typical normal plastic bricks and stuff like that, it's not always the right solution you need to 100% effectively replicate something. There's many other options, and options that use totally legal and purest Lego pieces. Now look at this helmet design. Everything about this helmet is flawless. The little red highlight up top, the brilliant angles that they've achieved to pull off the correct and precise look of this helmet. It is a flawless replica, just stunning. And check out this blaster too, it's another fine replica. We can see it's using pieces like some of these smaller black gears and some of these textured one by two round bricks. And I think that was a great move. These two pieces, they share very similar textures. And so as a result, it adds some nice visual consistency across the entire blaster. But also these pieces pull off the look very well, don't they? Oh, and this finger design is great as well, using lots of different hinge pieces like these ones here. And then as a result, you get something that fits the scale of this build in a great way, but it's also something that's incredibly poseable as well. And anytime you can get a bit of extra posability into something like this, that's always nice. Yeah, there's a lot to marvel at on this hyper-realistic and deeply accurate model. Seeing it in person at the Skebeck Fan Weekend in Denmark was a real treat. Now, the man behind this build, Mirko Sepulsa, they left a few QR codes that showcased their social media. And taking a look at this, well, they have heaps of other brilliant creations out there. I mean, look how stunning this 501st ATRT is. Once again, the scale is so impressive and it's super accurate. On Starbrick's website, you can see more information about all of his different builds. And he also mentioned that he's planning on making instructions for the Shore Trooper mock we were just looking at. Very excited to see when those finally come out. This looks like it would be incredibly fun to recreate at home. Now, sadly, the instructions aren't out yet, but hopefully they will be very soon. However, they do have a K2SO project that they made as well. And this thing is a work of art. And there are indeed instructions available for this right now. So check the links in the description below and do what you can to get a hold of those instructions. All the info you need is available on his website. I'll have links in the description below. And that's not the only mock that has instructions. There's plenty of other good ones, but you're gonna have to check those links if you wanna see those. So yeah, let's take a couple more looks at this beautiful Shore Trooper before we finish up on this video, cause it's just so cool. I really hope one day Lego is able to produce a buildable figure of this scale and this high level of accuracy as well. But with this being like 66 centimeters tall, which is roughly two feet tall, I'm sure it would add up to be a rather pricey set, but it would be worth it. Still, at least you can get this one day when the instructions are available. What an awesome creation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.